Uh, Robots here playing Decadence. Decadence. Dika. Dance. <laughs> Fucking show the cock. Let's call it show the cock instead, devs. Yeah, show it. Dun 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 dun. Bum 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 bum. It's from Upright, but I don't think it was that tune I heard. Had boob, yep. No quality settings. Oh, let's go down, I guess. I, Anita, take you, Dean, to be my husband. And help. Till death do his part. You speak up. Oh, I love the Unreal lag. Use a peep hool. Honey, I'm home! Man, it's been a long day at the sausage factory. Better hope to see some food on the kitchen table. Ah, god damn it, woman! Fuck sake. I will do everything in this goddamn fucking household. Cook, clean, take care of the fucking kids. Jesus Christ. Why did it matter this fucking bitch? Can you put the table on the counter? Wait, what did you say? Excuse me? Can you set the table on the counter before you settle in? Table on the counter? Set the table on the counter? What does that mean? Duka. Okay. God damn fucking bitch. Oh cute. Uh, we need the stick. Cutlerly the stick. Honey, get the phone. Oh yeah, you're at work. This is Henry. Hi, sweetie. I can't seem to find my ring. Can you find it and place it next to my jewelry box? Again, honey? You keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. <sighs> Thank you, Dean. She's cheating on me. She's, yeah, she's fucking cheating on me. She's gonna come in here and say, we need to have an open relationship. And I'm gonna say, pack your bags, bitch. So you're in court. It's 1986. Oh yeah, there's no open relationships done. Where did she put that ring? Muppet. Does it look nice for being this, the 86? This this entire kitchen makes me want to puke. Where did she put that ring? Al Brewery. Oh my god. Oh no, don't put shit like that on your fridge, you fucking normie. Hi Dean, long time no talk. How's the newlywed life treating ya? 
I've been missing you too and figure it's about time we caught up. So here I am, penning this letter in hopes of reconnecting and maybe even convincing you to pay your dear old mom a visit. There was a plumbing. <laughs> Hope you and Anaira have settled it, settled it well in the new apartment. It sends me that you guys are so far away. But I'm sure this move is the best decision for you too. Oh, a freaking hair in my mouth. Disgusting. Don't forget that the secret to a long marriage is to treat your wife right. You can focus on your career, but don't forget that your priority should always be to provide for your family. Speaking of, your father and I can't wait. Where did she put that ring? Shut the fuck up! To give us the grandchildren. Don't keep us waiting too long. Uh. Life is short to let distance keep us apart. The doors are wide open, waiting for you to walk in. There's always space here for you, sending you all my love. Uh. Have children, no! What a bad idea to having children now. Put that ring? Fucking, I don't know, fucking, that I see it! Nice uh, toilet, honestly. A little bit crumby, this place. It could be nicer, I guess. Volume low, there's not really much I can do about it, chat. It is low on default. <coughs> Another crank it up, manually. Put that ring. Oh no, I should put it up your fucking dick hole from the fucking sounds of things. Testing, testing, there you are. Advanced. Testing, testing, two. <laughs> 150. Hope it's gonna get super loud for you guys now. Put that ring, you have it already! Put it in her jewelry box. Oh, it looks so fluffy! Oh my god. A grease... A grief observed. She's dead, isn't she? <sighs> Fucking hell. Did a light bulb just blow? God damn light bulb conspiracy. Hey, honey. Is that you? What the? This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. Is it too loud or too low? That's 150, though. I'm gonna blow out your eardrums eventually, when the spookies happen. Let's do 175%. 180. Ah, uh, yes, this is the trash, right? Dean, I forgot my keys. Can you unlock the back door for me? Yeah, I'm coming! Hey, babe. Honey, I'm home! Oh my god, I had so much to do at work today. Do you guess what Veronica did? I was just sitting my, my in the in the hey, coffee room. And she came in like she owned the fucking place. She was strutting all over. And you, can you believe what she said next? See, she, see, she, she said I look pretty good. What does she mean, pretty good? Honey! Yeah, 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 I, yeah, what a bitch. And you won't believe what happened next. Honey?
Honey, can we have an open relationship, honey? Hey. Oh, hey, Dean. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. What mess? <sighs> Fine. Give me a second. Stephen King, if you read Stephen King, you're a fucking douchebag. Evening Sun. Schaefer considering Steinberg. Your deliberating verdict in the Pelton espionage trial. Drug agents concerned about new crack fad. And I and New York firm is a wow fell points bailout deal. There we go. I think I can go for some fresh air. I guess I'm gonna take the back door for this. Honey! Honey, I took the, the books away. What was that? Can you check it out? It's probably a raccoon or something there. Or that big rat raccoon. What the fuck was that King Call again? The one with the razor sharp teeth. They can grab stuff and run away. No, wait, that's the raccoon. Shit. What was that? Can Possums. You check it out? It's pro probably just a possum hunting deer. Dear Dean, I hope this letter finds you well and that you're finding the strength to keep your head after the last couple of days. I wanted to write to you today because I'm very concerned about your well-being, especially after this traumatic event. I cannot feel your pain as much as you do, but please be aware that I'm always here for you as a friend and someone you can lean on. Uh. I have no, not heard from you lately. I'm worried that you're struggling to cope with everything. <laughs> Remember that you have shoulders... Don't have the shoulder this burden alone. Understand that someone is going through have you have would find it difficult to take care of themselves, so please keep in mind that we have your best interest in heart and pushing us away will only hurt you more in the long run. Listen here, mind your own fucking business, okay? People who can't cope are weak. Oh she likes to see her gift. Make them stronger. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. Hello? God damn. It's that goddamn bitch, Beatrice from work. Goddamn Yandere bitch. Always fucking stalking me on the way home. <sighs> Great fucking hell. I need to talk to HR tomorrow about this. This can't fucking keep going. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna go jerk off to this right now. Hide in the closet. I'm never coming out! Don't fucking fall on that and get it up your asshole. Oh, that's a package I have to grab first. I kinda like games like these. Mr. Dean. 65E Lexington Street, Baltimore. BALTIMORE?! Oh my god, I would also fucking be depressed then, holy shit. Beatrice? You can't just come in here. Oh 
shit, what happened? Sorry, Dean! I had an oil spill at the job today! Anita? Are you okay? Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. Come out here and talk to me. Oh, I'm probably killed the bitch. That's not good. You shouldn't do that. It's your wife. Like scratching your own car. Pick up dry cleaning on Thursday. Oh, she's still here. Okay, great. Honey, what did you want me to do? Let's finish talking. Open the damn door. I'm sick and tired of your shit. I said leave me alone. Where and he was here. I I heard her. Hmm. Toxic relationship. Dean, you seem to be a piece of shit, honestly. Jesus Christ, I would be a cock if I had a woman. God damn. Not like uh, not fucking uh, I dubs levels. Perhaps half that. Beatrice, what are you doing in here? Are you fucking my wife? Dear here, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to address the matter has come to our attention regarding your recent absence from work for six days without power no notice or explanation. As an integral part of a team, your presence and commitment to your responsibilities are crucial for a smooth operation of this company. We can re request you that, that you provide us with an explanation for your absence during the specified periods. This will enable us to understand the circumstances surrounding your absence and explore potential ways to address any challenge you might be facing to avoid negative impact on your professional development and overall functioning of our team. We can request that you adhere to our attendance policy moving forward. Uh. We encourage you to schedule a meeting with your manager, Juliette, as at your earliest convenience to discuss your recent absence and any underlying concerns you may have. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Arthur. Fuck you on about it. Just fire him instantly. What the fuck? Overdue? Trump and Son's funeral services. It's even expensive to fucking die. Baltimore Sheriff Office. God fucking damn it. They fired me from the yacht club. <laughs> oh, I need to drink some more Heineken to cope. <laughs> and it's, it sucks. Shut the fuck, shut the fucking TV up, god damn. It's too dark with the TV off. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm a rat. <laughs> fuck, I almost got stuck. <laughs> Woman, I need a good fuck. Moving day. 
We're not the first to live in this apartment. We won't be the last, but we will be the ones who never leave. <laughs> what a nice looking blanket. I bet that would be nice to fuck in. Oh, honey, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, I'm back from my coma. Honey? Honey, we got black mold. Oh my god, it ate my face. Wedding, 82. What is the saddest ceiling fan I ever seen? Oh my god, no! This is why you shouldn't date a ghost. Yeah, but you can't impregnate a ghost. Uh, that's true. That's why probably why you shouldn't do it at all. I need a fucking cold one. Okay, fuck that then. Actually, did I close my own fridge? Uh, Cyber Pfizer man, thanks for 57 months. Ring of Saturn full released a few days ago. It's like Star Sector, but focused on mining asteroids. Perhaps, since... Sure. Oh god, it fucking went everywhere. Will Clan Wolf, thanks for the 19 months. Liam Baxter, thanks for the 25 months. How about, thank you for steady supply of streams. Don't worry about it. Wait, where am I? What? Am I losing my own mind? That 8 day thanks for the 9 months. McDaniel thanks for the 58 months. Uh, hi, hi. Justiny Harkos 1, fuck your name. Uh, it's good enough the way I say it, I believe, right? Thanks for 3 years, dude. 3 years already. What have I been doing with, with, your, with my life? I don't fucking know. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck, fuck have I been doing? I swear to God, it's been hard for us to do anything in life as young people. You know? Like, it's hard getting a house. It's hard to come in a bag. Like, what the fuck? Taco1, thanks for 37 months. Uh, Prowling Lynx, thanks for the double. Ellers King, thanks for the double Dika. Suna, thanks for 65 months. Ru. Rufrale, thanks for the 57 months. Uh, Bunny said X, thanks for the, the anniversary. Pripsmannen, thanks for 21 months. Hey, hey, Trevor Sunda, Robert. You found Trevor Sunda. BP Creations, thanks for 62 months. SRF27, thanks for the double anniversary. Saiham, thanks for the Dika. Uh, Ruswi, thanks for the 33 years. You're my hero. You're my hero. You're a vegetarian, right? Sick, thanks for 62 months. If I was, if I was vegan, I would need to have, uh, I would need cauliflower, everything, just to fake my existence. Like cauliflower, cauliflower, even this, even cauliflower pizza, right? Like the crust, pizza crust. Sweet cupcake protein for seventy six months. Uh, when will you play more ice legs with chat? It would be nice if they updated it actually. 
Oh god. Came around the corner and all of a sudden we are a fucking Mormon family with kids everywhere. I fucking knew it. Beatrice, listen here. You wanna fuck? Oh wow, you're already one step ahead from the looks of things. You think women like shit like this? When they come home from work, there's some flowers, some lights. Then they get into the living room, oh my god, and then your husband is still like, oh, jerking the cock. <laughs> hey babe, get on the, the cock carousel. Oh yeah, they would probably love this actually. I even put a red light bulb into the thing. Hey babe. Hey, I think this is a fire hazard. You look as beautiful as you did four years ago. I'm sorry, Alita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even death. Could do us part. That's it. Okay. Wow. Man, this guy is really coping hard. Oh yeah, this game was made by a uh, fucking school. I guess this was like a project they had. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, this was free by the way. Not bad. 